Uh, pack's full, but my stash has room. Wasn't expecting to see you in Scalding Spear. Um, have you been to Plainsong? Did you see Corey? I haven't had the chance. Oh. At the ready, soldiers. What's going on? My squad's being sent on patrol northwest of here. I won't be able to see Corey for a long time. I wonder if you could let him know. I don't want him to think I've abandoned him. We are moving out. Please. If I find my way to Plainsong, I'll let him know. Sakura, I will leave your scab ass behind. Thank you, Aloy. So, are you there? I'm in plain song and it's amazing. It's just like you said, the fields are back in bloom. And we have you to thank for it. If you hadn't come along, the Utaru would still be starving, under siege by machines. I'm just glad it worked out. Yes. First plain song. Next, the world. Hey, Lloyd. I hear you've been making quite the impression on the clan lands. Forcing the commander Takote out of hiding. Defending the grove from Regala. I didn't do it alone. The humble words of a true warrior. Your sister sent me. Her squad's been assigned further west, so she won't be able to come see you, Corey. She wanted to make sure you knew. That sounds like my sister. Is something wrong? No. Yes, there's a song I want to play, one of my own making, but it's hopeless. I'm just never going to get the sound right. What makes you say that? Back in the clan lands, the Sky Clan built instruments that cast sound to sky and across the mountains. 
They use long leg throats to make them bellow with the sound of metal. It's how they communicate between villages. Combining that sound with the Utarus would create a melody unlike anyone's ever heard before. But I won't be hunting for any long legs anytime soon. For now, you should try the Metal Weaver again. They might have some new piece you can use. Right. This song means a lot to him, doesn't it? It does, which is why I'm getting him that machine part. It'll be a surprise. The Utaru say that's the best way to receive a gift. Is there a long leg around here? As it happens, one has been troubling some villagers southwest of here. You be doing me and playing song a favor by getting rid of it. Interested? Maybe. I didn't think the Tanakh cared much about gifts. When I first moved here, I remember some days were more difficult than others. But I came to embrace the life I found here, and I, I don't see why I can't help Corey do the same. He's lucky to have you. Tell me more about this long leg. It's a particularly nasty one. Looks different, too. Tainted like the lands around here used to be. It protects a group of machines that overran a small outpost southwest of Plain Song. Its call is easy enough to track, but if it spots us, It'll call reinforcements faster than you can draw your bow. Take it out with the rest of those machines, though. Plain Song has one less problem to deal with, and Corey gets to play his melody. Victory for all. If I make my way down there, I'd like to help. I appreciate that. I'll head southwest and see if I can pick up a trail. Aloy, wasn't sure you'd ever come around. What do you think of Plain Song? It's quite a place. <laughs> sure. As long as you like the smell of manure. Ah, uh, don't mind me. I won't go wandering again, I promise. There are people who need me here. Some of the others the Eclipse took had it worse than me. A lot worse. Do what you can for them, Yef. I will. It won't be anything like you did, but I'll give it my best. You could use the backup.
You okay? You arrived not a moment too soon, Huntress. I thought I heard a long legs call, so I hastened to follow, but I was caught unaware by these machines instead. There it is again. Let's go find it. at the top of that cliff. Oh, looks like we're climbing. We'll make quick work of it. This reminds me of my early days as a veteran. Always running off to hunt in the wilds. As far away from plain song as possible. What changed? I saw my first Utaru students become fighters worthy of any Tanaka clan. I felt useful, like I belong. And so plain song became home. I'm sure Corey will find his place too. I hope so. Almost there. It sounds like that long leg isn't alone up there. I'm afraid you might. There's our long leg. And the Utaru it fell. It might be best to silence it before Foster it can call. Huntress? Many thanks, Aloy. Without you, I might have been in trouble. 
Why don't you take that piece to Corey for me? The villagers failed by these machines need to have their seeds buried properly first. Are you sure? Tell Corey I'd better be the first to hear that song of his when I return. Corey. Aloy? I thought you had left Plainsong. Well, I thought about it, but then I'd have to carry this long leg throat all by myself. You found? Jax did. <laughs> that old man. Can still hear perfectly fine. So let's hear it. I'm gonna need some help. Aloy, can you take this to the workbench, please? You won't have to do much, I promise. You'll see a wide cavity on the Stop. instrument. Hey, the that piece should fit right in. Hey, Lord, let us see your handiwork. I think it's good to go. song of two peoples indeed. Thank you, Aloy. My debt to you seems to only grow. Hearing that was payment enough. That may be, but you should at least take this. You deserve it. May the wings of the ten hearten your step.
Aloy, well met. We've been briefed on our mission, and are ready whenever you wish to head to Cauldron Gemini. Were you able to finish the new arm Gaia was helping you with? Indeed. I was hoping we could discuss it, if you have a moment. How are your studies going? I wanted to learn more about the world of the Old Ones. And? I looked up this pharaoh Gaia said you went looking for, and learned about the plague of machines he unleashed. To think that the ancient world was wiped out by... <sighs> a mistake. A single miscalculation that... There is no glory or honor in such a fate. Only hubris. And pointless death. That about sums it up. Have you spoken with Alva? The Quen is peculiar. Nothing like a Tanakh. Her mind is sharp, that much is certain. But it's hard to imagine her surviving in the wilds. Trust me, she's tougher than she looks. I will take your word for it. You wanted to talk about your arm? Indeed. It's time to test it. And I want you to be there. Okay. How are we doing this? Not how. Where? Will you meet me where we felled Regala's tremor tusk? Right where the river bends? Sure, if you want, but I'm not sure I understand. You'll see when we get there. I promise. Then I'll let you know when I get close. You have my thanks, Aloy. I have to go now. Then do not let me keep you. Like I said, I'll call you when I'm close to Regala's old outpost near the bulwark. May the Ten guide your way. There she is. I hear you found Thebes. How was it? Maniacs, lava. What's not to like? I'll remember that next time I go traveling. At least I got what we needed to trap Hephaestus. Good thing I got my gear ready then. Have you spoken with Alva yet? Yeah, when she's not reading the archives like a giddy kid drinking her first ale. She took to that new focus quick, that's for sure. I gotta say, I'm a little jealous, but I can see why you two hit it off. You look tired. Ha! You're never one to hold back, are you? I've just been making sure that I got everything down for this mission of yours. I wouldn't want to be the usual screw-up out there. You'll do fine, Erend. I should get going. As soon as you want us heading out to those cauldrons. I'll give you the heads up. I was hoping we could speak, Aloy. From the look on your face, I'd say the mission was a success. I got Omega Clarence. Is everyone ready to head out to Cauldron Gemini? As soon as you give the word. Did Alva make it here all right? Our new Quen friend. The moment she laid eyes on the archives, she jumped on them like a long leg. Sounds about right. Once Gaia is back up and running, I expect you to put all your training to good use. The seeds have been planted. All they need is a chance to bloom. What? I thought that was pretty good. Zoe liked it. I'm glad you and Zoe found each other. Don't forget, you're to blame for that. Now that I have Omega Clearance, we can grab Hephaestus and finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. 
Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder jaws. Better them than us, for once. I should go get this to Gaia. Of course. Let us know when we're needed. Welcome back. Good to be back. Have you met our new Quen guest yet? I could barely keep up as she gave herself a tour of the base. Varro gave her a new focus. Though when he told her she was free to access all the data we had here, she turned so pale I, I thought she'd faint on the spot. We showed her to the archive room so she could see for herself. She hasn't left the place since. Sounds like Alba. Oh, I also wanted to give you this. For helping with the land gods. Plain song is in your debt. Thank you, so. You deserve much more for all you've done. May the land always bloom in your steps. And yours? <laughs> <laughs> 